what's up guys welcome back i'm grant thompson the king of random and i'm derek i run a channel called veritasium today we're here to answer a comment request from panda piku who wants to know does the backyard metal foundry get hot enough to melt glass that's what we're here to find out so what kind of glass are we going to try to melt so i guess there's different types of glass there's borosilicate and there's soda lime glass most of the world's glass is soda lime so i just went down to the grocery store and i picked up some of this uh, dr pepper because it's the one that i found in the glass bottles and i'm thinking what we're probably going to do is just empty these bottles place them down in the foundry, fire it up, and just see what it takes to melt them, if in fact they will melt at all. So the question we're gonna try and answer today is does this cheapo little backyard foundry actually get hot enough to melt glass, soda lime glass? We're not sure. We're gonna put it to the test and watch what happens. Borosilicate glass has uh, boric oxide in it, which I think is B2O3, and that just makes that glass much less expansive when the temperature changes, which is really good. That'll help you avoid thermal shock. So if you're doing anything with wild temperature swings, this is the kind of glass, borosilica glass is what you want to use. Let's get this thing fired up. Look at the size of this thing. I accidentally ordered this off Amazon. It's much bigger than I was anticipating, but I think it's gonna work great. That is a huge crucible. Stick that down right in the middle. One of our glass bottles should tuck in there nicely, I think. But I think first we'll just go ahead and get that ripping hot. And then ideally that's gonna fit right in there but we will want to remove the contents first or else we may be dealing with a small explosion. <laughs> Soda explosion. We're not gonna worry too much about the labels because those are gonna burn right off, I promise. I'm looking forward to seeing Grant fire this up. I've never seen Grant in action, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's all you, dude. <laughs> all right, fire it up. All right, here we go. Woohoo! That's it. So what's happening now is the two jets are forming a swirling vortex of fire that's surrounding the crucible there. And we're gonna put this lid on to keep as much heat in as we can. It sounds like a hog, like almost like a Harley or something, you know? So now we're just gonna let that sit for about 10 to 15 minutes to let that crucible warm up. And when it's glowing red hot, we'll bring out the glass. Cool. Quick update guys, this thing's been running for about 15 to 20 minutes now. I think it's about as hot as we can get it. So we're gonna have Derek go ahead and take the lid off and we're gonna throw some glass down inside. Let's do it. Here we go. Oh yeah. That is hot, hot stuff. Okay, here's our glass bottle number one, ready? You can see the label starting to burn off a little bit. The flames are coming up. You can see that bite. Yeah, that swirling motion. You think it's, it's gonna crack or what? There's a chance it could crack, but I actually don't know. You don't think it's gonna smash up in our faces? I'm trusting you here. I don't think it will. Honestly, <laughs> if I'm being honest, I don't think it will. <laughs> Is it melting already? It does look like it's melting already. On the side. I wasn't sure if that was just playing tricks on me, but... It melted pretty quick. What the heck? There's no way that that melted. We didn't even put the lid on yet. What? Look at it go. You gotta be kidding me, what? Look at that, it's just melting down into a puddle. I did not expect to see that so soon. You know, I was expecting we'd have to put the lid on and get it quite a bit hotter than that. But no, just sitting in the crucible for 30, 45 seconds, it started toppling on its own. Yeah. That really took me off guard. This is amazing, look at this. I can't look at that. Fast it, it's melting. It's like a, a puddle in a minute. Guys, my expectations are already absolutely blown out of the water. I was hoping the foundry would melt glass. I had no idea it would melt glass that quickly. Like that. We didn't even have to put the lid back on. No, it was the bottom actually melting and the whole thing was toppling over, crumpling down into essentially a puddle of glass liquid. I'm just gonna turn the gas off for well, a second. I'm gonna pull that out. I just wanna see what kind of condition this is. Look at that. Oh. It is really tacky. Wow. It's like putty. That is unexpectedly awesome. You can tell it's got some viscosity now. So this makes me wonder, like what would happen if we did put the lid in there and run it for a bit longer? We're back in business. Ready? This thing has now just become multi, multi-purpose. Aluminum, copper, brass, gold, glass. What else? So now you're gonna do some glass blowing experiments on your, uh, on your channel? Are you gonna try to make a glass blown object? That's a great I, idea. I'm gonna challenge you to do that. Glass blowing coming up on the King of Random cooking channel. <laughs> <laughs> that would be pretty random. Huh. So we're just gonna let this thing set for about another five to 10 minutes. We're gonna see what happens when we leave the glass in there with the lid in place. How much can we decrease the viscosity? It's gonna be a gooey mess when we open that thing, man. I think so. 
So obviously when we get glass hot enough, it resembles a liquid. I mean, obviously it is liquid, it flows, right? But uh, what about glass in its solid state? And at room temperature, a lot of people say that it is a liquid. One of the reasons for that is because glass is something called an amorphous solid, which means that the actual molecules don't line up. Like when you get ice, right? All the water molecules actually lock into this crystalline structure and it's a, a particular shape. But in glass, they stay really kind of disorganized. That's very interesting. So what you're saying is even glass panes, those window panes on a house, a hundred years later, can still actually be flowing. Well, about that. I think I, I made a video about this. You can go check it out on my channel. Uh, is glass actually a liquid at room temperature? So we'll put a link down in the description. Is glass really a liquid at room temperature? You can go find it on the Veritasium channel. In the meantime, let's get back to our foundry and see how it's reacted now that we've had the lid on for the last 10 minutes. I can actually see it. Yeah, it looks like I don't know how to describe it. it, almost looks like whipping cream. You can see the different layers, but it is completely melted down and it's all at the bottom of the crucible right now. What are we gonna do with it? That's a great question. You want me to get something? <laughs> now that we've melted this glass, what on earth are we gonna do with it? Why don't we get like something like a cookie sheet or a casserole tray? I'm gonna get something and bring it out. Put some dirt on it and we'll see if we can make a very crude mold just for proof of concept. All right, guys, it is time. Thank you. Mr. Lid Remover. Oh, yeah. Whoa! Look at that. Serious. Look at that. It's a glass soup. Whoa. See that? Woo! I'd say that's molten. Absolutely, that is glass liquid. Absolutely. Yeah, I love how liquid that is. That's amazing. I'd say it has the consistency of like a melted caramel. Melted caramel. Yeah. So we got a little bit of dirt, we added some moisture. We're just gonna use this glass bottle to make an impression and do, just do a really crude casting just as a proof of concept. Yeah. See if it even works. This is really meta, right? We have melted down a Dr. Pepper bottle and now we're trying to cast it back into the shape of a Dr. Pepper bottle. Take that. There we go. Glass is looking liquid. We know from experience we can't just pour this thing in. So, we're just gonna try turning the whole thing over on some cinder blocks and letting it do its thing like that. Come on. It moves so slowly, I wouldn't be surprised if it like solidified before it- If it freezes it... as it's coming down. Come on, man. That stuff's gonna be really difficult to get out of that crucible. No kidding. Is it? Oh, oh look at that, look at that. Is it gonna hit the mold? Or is it off a little it's off, bit? It's a little off, but it'll get down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we yeah, go. Yeah, nice, nice. It's cooling down fast though, isn't it? It looks like lava. It, it does, big... you can see that it's still glowing, right? There's still... Oh man, oh, we yeah. have contact. But yeah, look how fast it's cooling down. What if we can like pull it out of there a little faster? It's already solidified. Look at that. Huh. Oh, it's still going. It's like cheesy pizza. Yeah, up, up above it's still hot. I can see it coming down, hot pieces. Now it's solidifying into like hard candy equivalent. This is cool. Feel the heat radiating off that crucible. Toasty. Okay, I'm gonna flip this crucible over and see what's left inside now that nothing else is coming out. I'm just gonna take this here, flip it around. Oh, wow. I've almost made like a little improvised glass bowl in there. Oh, there's a little molten aluminum peeking out down there. What's amazing is how quickly this cools. Oh, wow. Oh, there it goes. Oh, clean up on aisle three. Let's go ahead and move this back and take a look at what kind of a casting we got. Well, <laughs> that is terrible. It's not much of a casting. I mean, can you melt glass? Yes. Can you cast it? Not yet. Not really. Let me grab this. Oh, it's brittle. It did start to conform a little bit on the bottom side, the shape. 
but uh, but it wasn't it couldn't stay hot long enough. Yeah. I feel like if you could cast it almost like within. Oh yeah. Another foundry. And if you had your mold preheated as well. Oh yeah. That would help a lot. I mean, so I think as a result of what we saw today, you can definitely melt glass in this foundry, but you can't necessarily cast it very well. Not yet. No, that's going to take a much more professional setup than we've uh, played with here. But proof of concept here, guys, we can actually liquefy glass to the point where we'll, it will drip into whatever uh, mold we want it to. The problem is it just cools down too much before yeah, it hits keep it. it hot. Yeah, it's very cool. So there you have it, guys. We started this experiment for the purpose to see if the metal foundry would melt glass, and we found that it did. Not only did it, it did a lot faster than we were expecting and got it to a very less viscous consistency. Yeah, that's right. It, it, it was flowing quite, quite rapidly, except when we try to get it out, try to pour it into that mold, then it cooled down quite rapidly as well. So we couldn't quite make a mold out of it. That's what we noticed. As hot as the glass was, it still only took a few seconds for it to cool down and solidify. We could pull strands with it. We could make really weird looking sculptures with it. I don't know how we're going to clean out this crucible now. I think you're going to have to like chip it off. I think that is going to be a terrible mess. But anyway, we did have a lot of fun doing it. We're so glad that you could join us here. Make sure you go check out Derek with Veritasium. He's got a lot of intellectual content, a lot of things that will challenge your brain. And he's got a video that goes even more in depth on the properties of glass itself. Go check him out, Derek at Veritasium. Links down in the description. And a huge shout out to Panda Pika. Thanks for your comment. You can go ahead and check your YouTube inbox. We're going to be sending you 25 bucks. Thanks so much for joining us for this video, guys. We'll be looking for you in the next one. Talk to you then. Cheers. <laughs> you know, I've never had Dr. Pepper before. Really? Yeah. Me neither. Hey guys, I wanted to jump back in for just a second to invite you to come follow me on Instagram. I've got a very active page where I post daily pictures and stories of behind the scenes and every day is an adventure. Just take five seconds right now to click the link in the description to come follow me on Instagram at the King of Random. I'll see you there.